heavy weather warning is in effect, Commander. Your visibility will be compromised out there. At least we've got some uh, friendly turrets. Looks like we found a place, Commander. We have you on visual, Commander. Happy to see some friendly mechs. Hostile forces just crossed the perimeter, Commander. They're heading your way. This is where the fun begins. Let that target feel hell ten times over. Eyes up. Enemy forces closing in. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Out. Commander, be on the lookout for them. 
Additional contacts just cross the perimeter, Commander. Expect company soon. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Last one, and we're done. Well done, Commander. The area is secure. Man, Endo and Pharaoh's everywhere now.
Ah, friendly reinforcements. All personnel reporting in. Mercenary lance ready for action. Outer perimeter alarm has just sounded. Hostile forces incoming. We have a few friendlies here on rotation, but they will need our assistance defending this station from incoming hostile forces. Move out. Now fan out and take defensive positions. Prepare for incoming hostiles. What the hell? Tangos appear to be bringing in additional reinforcements. Brace yourselves. Target received. Consider it salvage.
hostiles from the surrounding area. Copy. Engage Commander Target. Last one. Enemy mech eliminated. Well done, Commander. The area is secure. Simple as a good thing somehow the uh, LRM carrier underground died somehow or else I might have uh, needed to restart this mission that, uh, that wouldn't have been uh, pleasant Okay, back to the industrial zone for a bit. Ah, the ER medium lasers are here. Head towards this war zone. Oh, uh, 
forgot to to check this. The bounty hunter has a message regarding the Waco Rangers. Someone once told me that determination becomes obsession and then it becomes all that matters. I'm always reminded of that quote whenever I think of Wayne Waco and his Waco Rangers. When the Capellan Confederation decided to disband the first Tau Ceti Rangers, Wayne's natural charisma and upbeat outlook on life inspired, lo inspired loyalty and kept a large majority of his disbanded unit together as they ventured out on their own. But that positivity was the first thing to be crushed under the foot of the same stalker that pancaked his son John on New Aragon. As the stories go, the rangers were facing off against Zeta Battalion, Wolf's Dragoon's fancy battalion that fields almost exclusively assault mechs. John's lance of scout mechs were shot down, igniting smoke screens to blind Zeta's some lumbering slow movers. He successfully ejected out of his cockpit, but when he was running across an open field, attempting to link up with another ranger mech trying to rescue him, a dragoon stalker maliciously crushed John under the mech's foot as he fled for his life. A Comstar inquiry cleared Wolf's dragoons of any wrongdo wrongdoing, but that only pushed Wayne even further off the edge. Now the charisma and optimism he was known for has been replaced with bitterness and rage. To his credit, he has tempered his fury into forging his rangers into becoming, into becoming the Dragoon's ultimate foil, even if their rival, quote-unquote rivalry with Jamie Wolf seems to be purely one-sided, as the Dragoons seem to show little regard to Wayne's blood feud with them. Let's go. Relay has picked up enemy signatures closing on its position. Auto 
I'm guessing there's still uh, stragglers left, or are they?
still not done? Damn. Where are the rest of the enemies? New target, Dervish. I wonder if we'll be able to hear their screams. That was a bit hairy there for a while, especially when the uh, enemy mercs came in. Everybody took a good amount of damage there. Bad news, Commander. Extreme weather conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised sensors on this mission. Borders green, everything is good. Let's go, Commander. Reporting for duty. We are ready to engage the enemy. Numerous hostiles want this garrison leveled so they can conduct raids further in system unabated. Our contract is to keep this facility safe and operational. So move out and prevent the hostiles from overrunning this position. Nothing on scopes at the moment, but don't get comfortable. Hostiles have been reported in the area. Wow. Something just tripped the perimeter alarm. Lock and load. A <laughs> boatload of support.
something uh, tells me this is gonna this mission is gonna be a cakewalk. <laughs> from here. 
for the help guys <laughs> mission turned out to be a cakewalk because of it Through structure, where? Hmm.
Ah, finally! Federated Commonwealth has become uh, a thing. It's united Federated Sons and the Lyran Commonwealth. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Just 10 more left. Seems a bit uh, uh, too, f too few enemies. Okay. 
position. Stay frosty, Commander. Hit me! Hit me! Yeah! Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. Stay frosty, Commander. Target of 
Alright, let's get out of here. Tangos appear to be bringing in additional reinforcements. Brace yourselves. Cavalry is here, Commander. Prepare for mech extraction.
All right. XP for everybody. I think I have enough parts to assemble a night star. Ah, yes. Give me a good one. Trigger some more Merc battles. Let's go back to Sarna. Yeah. Very, uh, very memorable Sarna. Ah, I forget. There were... I didn't uh, check. There were a lot of news. This was even... Uh, this was a, a year ago already in game. In game timeline. Double heatsink production booming thanks to House Davion scientists. For years the Federated Suns have been tinkering with heatsink technology, fabricating a multitude of prototypes to improve the heat dissipation in battlenecks. Finally, decades later, Top researchers at NAIS rediscovered a mass-producible ad adaptation of the Star League era double heatsink. By combining previous research data with the knowledge from the Helm Memory Core, double strength heatsink technology is once again widely available across the inner sphere. Operating in the same manner as the standard battle mech heatsinks, double heatsinks provide enhanced heat dissipation and management for the same weight but are significantly bulkier, taking up over twice the space. And for that, Draconis Combine mastered the art of ferrofibrous armor. Ferrofibrous armor, once lost for centuries, can be reproduced thanks to the dragon's effort efforts in spearheading lost tech research. This specialized armor, reintroduced by IIT scientists, has increased tensile strength, providing additional protection at reduced weight. FF armor does come at a cost, as the weaves require far more space to house on mechs than standard plating. The new specialized armor has been praised as a simple altern alternative to the superior but expensive endo steel technology, saving weight without needing costly chassis refits. Many top Koreatan manufacturers have already converted production lines, as many DCMS battle mechs are slated to be constructed and outfitted with ferrofibrous plating by the end of the year. Then Lantern offers new GHR 5N variant as field refit. Refit, sorry. Lantern Corporation has announced a new variant of the Grasshopper and is now available to the astonishment of many. Production of the popular battle mech ended two centuries ago with the destruction of Lantern's primary factory on Bryant during the Second Succession War. This also left Bryant with worsening storms that made rebuilding, rebuilding quickly impossible. Only a small division of Lantern remains supplying parts and maintenance for the Grasshopper. They are offering this new variant, the 5N, as a field refit package for the existing 5H battle mix. This new 5N removes the long-range missile system and adds another Diplan M3 medium laser in its place. The remaining mass is quickly used up again by swapping out the heavy or slash large laser with a more powerful PPC. And 
Anti-missile system manufacturing on the rise. Extinct for hundreds of years, AMS were once a rarity among battle mechs in the inner sphere. This thanks to the brilliant research researchers of House Davion on New Avalon that they were able to produce, reproduce the Star League era long lost tech. The AFFC's staple model, the main fire point defense AMS, acts, acts as a short range defensive system used to strike down incoming missiles with rounds before they reach their intended, tar intended target. Built with complex automated targeting systems, integrated AMS devices can track missiles from any direction, protecting lances from barrages as long as munitions are available. Although equip the AMS equipment and ammunition is relatively still rare amid loadouts, officials expect these devices to be extremely popular among mercenary and military forces to counter missile heavy arsenals. And I, for, I guess I uh, forgot to check the news once it happened a while ago. Byron Commonwealth and Federated Sons merge into Federated Commonwealth. It's been almost two years since Melissa Steiner became Archon, and though the Great Houses themselves won't officially merge until the succession of their heir, the current arrangement of the Archon jointly ruling with her husband, First Prince Hans Davion, means these two realms already act as one. Unification of the Lyran Commonwealth and the Federated Sons was always going to be a long, slow process. Today, a significant step in that process comes as maps and names update to reflect a single state, the Federated Commonwealth. This was a great thing. Up until that stupid bitch, uh, Catherine, ruined everything. Anyway. Let's do this rescue mission. Heads up, Commander. Weather conditions in the area will restrict visibility. Let's call it dark. Let's go. Payday. Now let's dock us some bad. I'm uh, keeping my heat up so I can run faster. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Hero mech. Payload acquired. Nice. Probably do it myself. 
What? Ouch.
received. Where's the dropship? Alright, wonder what hero mech I got. A javelin. <laughs> Alright, lots of uh, XP for uh, Miss Fuji here. Let's get these rat bastards. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. 
We have been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. That was my uh, hypothesis. That was my hunch, rather. That the enemy would be at the farthest location.
it up. Let's see if there's anything we can use. Of, uh, salvaged weapons, eh, nothing special. Strike uh, proved to be pretty handy. Oh, 
salvage. Still had it. Still a bit more before I can get to level nine. Okie dokie. 